Hi, my name is Pat O'Connor. I'm the broker owner of the Veritas Real Estate Group. We're located in Coral Springs, Florida. And today I want to talk about the appraisal contingency in a home purchase contract. What is it? The lender is going to use the lesser value of either the offer price or the appraisal value as the basis for the loan. So if the appraisal is less than the um, accepted offer price and the buyer wants to move forward, there's a few options. Number one, the buyer is not required to move forward. The appraisal contingency means the buyer can walk away from the deal and get a refund on their good faith money if the appraisal value is lower. All right, so that's the worst case scenario. The second, the buyer can bring the difference between the offer price and the appraisal value as an additional down payment to the closing table. So let's say the purchase accepted offer price is 200,000, appraisal value is 190,000. The buyer really loves the house they're willing to pay essentially $10,000 more for the property. So they'll bring $10,000 as the additional down payment for the house. What frequently happens if it's a buyer's market and there's plenty of properties for sale, the seller may agree to split the difference 50-50. So we have 200,000 offer, we have 190,000 appraisal. The buyer could bring the 10,000 additional down payment to the closing table, but then the seller would credit them $5,000. So in essence, they're both paying $5,000, 50-50 split. Another option that's available is for the buyer to apply to another lender and hope that they get a different appraiser. This will really only work if they have a conventional loan. If they have a VA loan, the VA appraisers are a much smaller group of certified individuals. And if you're not in a large metropolitan area where you might have a lot of VA inspectors, appraisers, then the chances might be fairly high that this new lender will pick the same appraiser that you had with the other lender because there's a smaller pool of appraisers to choose from. And it, it's usually like a circle of appraisers. All right, this one's available. They're going to do it. And they don't pick individual ones. It's who's next on the list um, kind of thing. And then if it's an FHA loan, the appraisal value is tied to the property. So applying to another FHA lender, they, they have to use the same appraisal. And so that'll get you nowhere. So if it's a conventional loan, you might want to spend the money if you really think that the um, appraisal value is low and get another appraiser. You can also request, you know, your real estate agent can do this, request that the appraisal is reviewed. And so that'll delay things a bit, but if you truly believe that it is not correct, it is too low based on the market values, then you can request that someone else review it. They're not going to come to the property again, but they will look at the comparables that the appraiser used. So that's an, another choice. Um, and again, as I said, the third choice is that the buyer can actually walk away from the property. They don't have to buy it. So um, the, the next choice is a seller can lower the purchase price to the appraisal values. Again, this is not likely to happen in a red hot market where there are a lot of cash buyers. 
okay and a red hot market typically in the mls listing you might see cash only this is not necessarily a red flag it just means they know that the property is listed probably listed higher than what it would appraise for and they're not going to be negotiating a lot of times sales may take three to four weeks to be recorded in the tax record and the appraisers aren't necessarily going to have access to the latest information if you're in a market where property values are constantly increasing all right so in this case you know that your neighborhood is going up and up and up but the appraiser may not be aware of that and may not be able to use the comparables um so in that case you might see cash only bidding wars are common in a red hot market so you want the buyers to have to bid against each other you know buyers with loans may not be doing that because their loan you know the appraiser is going to use the appraisal um it, it may not um appraise for what their bidding price is and then they're going to run into a lot of issues so that's what an appraisal contingency is it's an opportunity for the buyer to walk away the seller can lower the selling price to the appraisal value or the buyer and seller can negotiate to split the difference between appraisal value and accepted offer price or the buyer loves the home and is willing to pay out the difference between the selling price and the appraisal value out of their home own pocket so that's what an appraisal contingency means in a home purchase contract okay thank you that's it for now happy halloween Bye.